very good morning to all of you and Islamic greetings. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. It gives me great pleasure and honor to stand in front of you here to address the distinguished gathering. First of all, I would like to make this an opportunity to congratulate all of you who exhibited colors in the ordinary level examination which was held in 2022. And my heart is gratitude for the organizing committee of today's event for inviting me to this grand occasion. Without further ado, let me introduce myself to the gathering. Some of you may know me, but some of you may not. I'm Zainab Shafi, just an ordinary student like each one of you present here who achieved nine A's in the ordinary level examination. I'm neither an intellectual nor a role model to motivate you all, but as a friend, as a peer, maybe as a sister, I'm here to give you all a small inspiration with a certain incident that happened in my lifetime. As you all know, my father, Dr. Shafi Shihabdin, was taken into custody under false allegations on 25th of May, 2019. Little did I know how monumentally life would change for me from that day. I was a small kid studying in year 9 when this incident happened. Following my father's arrest, we had to leave our home and stay away, seeking protection and help just like refugees. I actually had no idea of what's going on, but I was sure about one thing, that is, the real struggle began on that day. In a nutshell, me and my siblings, we lost school. We lost our home. We lost happiness. We lost peace. And beyond everything, we lost the backbone in our family, my beloved father. Life was not easy following this incident. Day by day, the struggles kept on climbing high. The fear for life, the fear of survival, the fear of facing the society, the fear of what's going to happen the next moment made me feel completely vulnerable. We had to shift from Kurunagala to Colombo. And following my father's release upon bail, Colombo was not feeling safe enough for our survival. Due to multiple life threats, we as a family shifted to the eastern part of Sri Lanka. It was challenging. A new environment, a new society, a new experience, and the biggest challenge was to continue the academics in Tamil medium because my first language was Sinhala. Ultimately, after one and a half years of struggle with the sudden switch in languages, we, my family, we shifted to the central hills of Sri Lanka, where with Almighty's help, I once again got the chance to continue my education in Sinhala medium. Alhamdulillah. This was a game to compete and win, not to look back and give up. The Almighty Allah says in the Quran, chapter number 2, verse number 286, Allah does not burden a soul beyond the limit it can bear. If you have not committed any sin, and if you are true to your concerns, there is no need of struggling with fear. When Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, was thrown to the fire, he said, Hasbunallahu wa ni'mal wakil which meant sufficient for us is Allah and He is the best disposer of affairs. Remember, worry ends where faith begins. Dear ladies and gentlemen, I'm repeating it again. Worry ends where faith begins. 
to wind up my speech i would like to pay my heartiest gratitude to each and every one who stood by us during the darkest moments of our lives especially i would make this a golden opportunity to thank the honorable chief guest and his beloved family for the immense help they have done for us thank you dear sir we are forever in your debt moreover i'm bound to thank the community who consistently included us in your duas and valuable prayers last but not least this life has many ways of testing a person's will life is not fair for everyone but no matter how hard life seems to be face it with courage and self confidence live your life to the fullest wishing you all the best 